want to go up now to Broward County. We're going to check in uh, with our Kerry Codd in Hollywood. What are you seeing there, Kerry? Well, for the last couple of hours, we were on Hollywood Beach, but then we started seeing some lightning off in the distance. Of course, we want to get under some sort of cover. Right now, we're under a uh, small parking garage, uh, just about a block or two off of the beach, just getting a little bit of protection here. We have not had any significant rainfall at this point. Uh, we have had wind gusts pretty steady, pretty consistent throughout the evening, around uh, 20 miles an hour or so. I will tell you that uh, we've had sporadic people coming by. I just talked to a gentleman who uh, has a property here on the beach. He was driving over here uh, just to check on things, make sure that everything was all right. Uh, he told me that as he was making his way over to Hollywood Beach from US-1, he said there was a lot of Hollywood police out checking on folks who were out walking on the street or who were out in their vehicles, maybe parked, wanting to see what's going on. Uh, we've also encountered the police. They've stopped and asked us if we're okay and asked us uh, kind of what we're doing over here because we are in a mandatory evacuation zone. Of course, we won't be here during uh, the height of the storm. But it obviously is indicative of just how serious the police are taking this situation. And we all know we've been listening to Craig and Lizette and the rest of the members of our weather team telling us just how significant this storm could be. Uh, also, I can tell you that from the people that we have spoken with over the last couple of hours, uh, we interviewed a couple who uh, decided that they wanted to stay here on the beach. They've lived here for a long time. They've ridden out many a storm here, and they felt comfortable doing so. And Lauren, to your point earlier that you were making, uh, we've seen a, a lot of posts on social media from our friends and acquaintances as well that, you know, they have taken steps to leave town, to flee north. Uh, I interviewed a gentleman the other night. I think it was um, Monday night or Wednesday night. The days are kind of running together. But he uh, was going to head up to Savannah, Georgia. And of course, you look at the track at that time, and it looked like the storm was going to go right up that direction. So it is a decision that is complicated and fraught with a lot of um, what ifs um, and second guessing, obviously. So clearly for us here on Hollywood Beach, it's a, a wait and watch kind of situation. Just wondering exactly uh, how this is going to play out, watching that track wobble back and forth. Um, I do a lot of yoga, so I try to take a lot of deep breaths. <laughs> you guys were talking before uh, the break about you know the social media itis that we all have, and constantly refreshing Twitter um, to see you know what's the latest on the storm and who's reporting what and what are the wind gusts expected here and when there, and you know it does get awfully overwhelming. And so I, I do think that it is instructive for a lot of us just to kind of pull back from that, take some deep breaths, realize that, you know, this is a storm. And I, I think it was a tweet that um, Craig Setzer put out uh, a couple of days ago that kind of crystallized things for me when he said, uh, we can handle the wind, but it's really the water with that storm surge. Um, and, you know, when you put it in terms of, of somebody with Craig's uh, resume and, and career um, forecasting when you hear, you know, someone of his, um, you know, aptitude and ilk saying, look, you know, let's break it down like this. It, it does give you a little bit more confidence, I think, to take that deep breath and realize we are, you know, going to get through this. We're going to pay attention. We're going to watch it closely and we're going to make the best decisions that we can make for ourselves, for our family, for our pets, for our friends, whatever that might be. So right now here in, in Hollywood, we are seeing some wind gusts, no rain just yet, but we're certainly watching out for that. Eugene, Lauren, back to you guys. Yeah, and I'll tell you what's reassuring uh, to me. I don't do yoga, uh, <laughs> but I do really appreciate seeing all the police presence that yes. we've been seeing in our community, specifically where you're at in Hollywood just a couple days ago. And I, we were talking about this. I think it was yesterday. The days are now starting to yeah, kind of blend of together, absolutely. right? Uh, but Lauren yeah. and I, uh, we were talking about this. I saw on Facebook that Hollywood police was going around uh, with uh, you know their, their PA system the or whatever, the bullhorn, right. telling people you're in an evacuation zone. You should 
leave. Uh, so uh, these are people who have been there for days, these police officers, and as Carrie, as you mentioned, are still there, are still doing their job. Uh, so let's take this moment to also say thank you to yes. all our law enforcement officers who are out there working and do not have the luxury of being with their loved ones right now inside uh, shuttered uh, in their homes and in their safety or shelters or whatever environment they deem safe. But uh, Carrie, you continue to see that there, that police presence there. Have they told you, are they going to continue Absolutely. to be there through Absolutely. the storm? Yeah, we've seen, uh, well, that I don't know. I think they're obviously at some point, like we've heard from the different law enforcement agencies that, you know, when the winds reach a certain point, they're going to pull their people back in. We've heard that up and down uh, the coast and elsewhere in Florida because, you know, they have to protect themselves as well. But, I mean, we saw um, a police cruiser going up and down the Hollywood Broadwalk a couple of hours ago. We had an officer come up to us when we were parked near the Broadwalk, a different officer. I've seen two or three um, large police vehicles up and down uh, A1A here just over the last 15, 20 minutes. Uh, so there is a heavy police presence. There's obviously a concern for life and safety. Uh, that, you know, they want to make sure that people are making the right choices and that, you know, if they do want to get out, reminding people that, you know, th there is still time to get to one of those shelters of last resort. You mentioned about, you know, the work that these officers are doing. We've been at several shelters over the last few days and seeing um, whether it's BSO or Fort Lauderdale or other officers who are there at those shelters for, you know, 12-hour shifts, making sure that, Things are staying sane and safe within those shelters, which obviously, you know, brings together a disparate group of people, um, all, you know, seeking shelter, united in that desire to stay out of harm's way. Uh, and again, those officers have families and properties and lives. And, you know, it is a massive um, undertaking when you sign up for a job like that to be able to, to you know, commit yourself um, to doing that and not being with uh, your loved ones and, and taking care of your property. So absolutely, I would absolutely echo what you're saying, you know, in, in the thanks and gratitude for the work that they do. So the, the sense of duty kicks in, uh, as it does for for all of us. Yeah. Uh, and Carrie, you included, and, and we thank you for uh, for being out there and keeping us informed as to what's happening there. And Carrie, I do have one more quick question for you because that area in Hollywood sure. and other parts of Broward County, not a stranger to flooding, not even from rain, but just from tides at times. So oftentimes you can go out there and you see sandbags lined up, storm surge. Really, a sandbag probably won't help because it's multiple feet above ground. Uh, it was what we're dealing with as far as storm surge goes. Are you seeing any of the businesses or any of the buildings there taking precautions as far as putting sandbags out there? Anything to stop potential flooding of their homes and businesses? Or really, did they just board up or shutter up and head out? Well, you know, that's a that's a difficult thing for them to do because uh, when you're talking about a significant storm surge, as you mentioned, you know, how much can you do to, pr to protect it? I did talk to a, a gentleman uh, who pulled into the parking garage here a little while ago. Like I mentioned, he has a property here. And I asked him, how concerned are you about the storm surge uh, being so close to the beach? We're literally a, a block away from the Atlantic Ocean. And his response to me was, well, that building has been here for 60 to 70 years. Um, and it hasn't had a problem. So, and I've heard that from several different people tonight about their homes or their properties. And I think there's that, that sense of relying on the history, relying on the past, that, okay, this has worked in the past. Our home has survived, you know, X, Y, and Z number of storms. Um, to your immediate question, we have certainly seen businesses with sandbags and shuttering and things of that nature. We earlier tonight were at a, a local uh, small corner grocery store that was trying to stay open as long as they could uh, to provide some, you know, food and necessary items, snacks, etc. for people that were mostly on foot in this one neighborhood. Um, and he was, that business owner was very concerned about flooding and had a number of sandbags that one of his customers had actually given to him as sort of a thank you for all the, the hard work that he's put into his business. So, you know, it, as you mentioned, uh, Hollywood can flood. I, I've covered it myself over the years, been here for several floods that it were very significant, uh, not during uh, a hurricane. So clearly, you know, I think the timing of when the storm hits with the tide and all those different factors come into play. So there are a lot of concerns and fears, and we'll just, again, have to wait and see. Tried and true statement, but it's all we can do is just wait and see.